performance. After Call Me by Franz, uh, our venue sponsors were hoping for another phone related song like Keen's classic, I've changed my price plan to take advantage of all the free minutes. We've got something even more exciting than that for you. Ladies and gentlemen, one of Britain's best and most unhinged new bands, Friendly Fuzz! <laughs> British band, the greatest band in Great Britain in 2008. This award, supported by Shockwaves, is a huge one. The winner is officially crowned King of British Music and goes on to play off against the champions of other countries for the right to represent planet Earth 
in future intergalactic festivals. Here to present this huge award from Kasabian, Tom and Serge. This is really best we man up. Enemy awards. Are you all cunted or what? <laughs> what? And the nominations are. You just said that. No surprise, it's Oasis! <laughs> uh, now, unfortunately, Oasis can't be here tonight, <laughs> although... Fuckers voted for them. It's voted by the readers of the enemy. In any case, Oasis, although they are probably luckily not here, have sent us this. Hello, viewers of the Enemy Awards 2009. I am Russell Brand. I am here to present a very prestigious award. The award is the best British band. And in many ways, the best British band is the best international band anyway, because we're the best at producing bands. We know this already. And if you think that was an arrogant statement, well, hang on to your hats, because here comes more arrogance in the form of the winners of this year's award, Oasis. No, I've got an award for you. Noel's out there. He's, we're in Italy at the moment. That's why he's not there, because he loves awards, but apparently he's got a big love of pasta and mafia. Noel Gallagher, um, hello. I'm here to present you with Best British Band Award, voted for by Enemy Readers, not a quango or anything like shady people in a boardroom. This is the readers of Enemy. They want you to have that. Well, this is ironic, being given the best British band by the second best British comedian. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's so ironic. You're better than either Eddie Izzard or Ricky Gervais. You're not right? better, not one you, of them. You're not better than Ricky Gervais, though. Or Sasha Baron Cohen. It's quite I'm a lot of good. Either, so for, He's not certainly uh, a comedian, was he? Well, I'm right, a better actor than you are. I'm, I'm really good at acting. Soon I will win awards. He's so. shit. This You've is seen about Oasis. Forgetting Sarah Mars, or should be film. called Forgetting Russell Brand. I play a rock anyway, star. A cliched rock star. It's bollocks. It's rubbish. Uh, thanks to all the readers who've uh, voted us Best British Band again. Thank you, thank you very much. This has turned in to a rather bad idea. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Come, let's cover that up. You're getting on now. No, you shouldn't be swearing at your age. It's bad. It's the wrong message. <laughs> for pudding. Bye. He does want his pudding. <laughs> well, some nice words there from Noel Gallagher. Now, we come to the award for Outstanding Contribution to British Music. This award is to salute a band who are only just starting to get the recognition they deserve after years of making great music. Here to present it, please welcome editor Conor McNicholas and indie guru Steve Lamarck. Tonight we're giving out a special Outstanding Contribution to British Music Award to a special band. Formed in Bury in 1990 as Mr Soft, they changed their name in 1997 but have kept the same lineup since day one. It was the death of a close friend that inspired their current album, one that was self-produced and done without a label but has now gone on to be their most successful. After nearly 20 years, this band have really found a place at the heart of the whole nation one of the best kept secrets in British music is a secret no more. Let's see who gets this outstanding contribution to British music. Fun, fun, fun. 
And they, oh, we don't need this, do we? They've recently been dubbed the People's Band. This is a richly deserved award. I think you all agree. You've seen them once on stage so far this evening, but for their outstanding contribution to British music, will you please welcome back to the stage, Elbow! Elbow are the only band in the history of the enemy to get 9 out of 10 for all their albums. When John Cale went on Desert Island Discs, he chose Switching Off from Cast of Thousands as one of his tracks. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Believe it or not, even though we've, we've played this venue and, and other big venues lots and lots over the years, uh, it's still a bit of a crazy circus. Uh, what, what I noticed tonight with everybody that was getting awards was uh, music more and more is being made in people's bedrooms, being made in the small places. Uh, Dizzy was one of the first people to prove that. It's never been a better time for music. You can make it at home and the world will hear it the next day, but only with the support of people like the NME who supported us from the beginning. We're very humbled and we're very lucky to be doing what we're doing. Thank you very, very much indeed. Elbow! Elbow were first on this evening. They were amazing and they've just won outstanding contribution. How does that feel? Exciting? We're, uh, we're out of our minds. Out of your minds. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny watching all the old videos and the, like, the <laughs> montage that they had yeah, there. Do you know what? We, we've made some shit videos. <laughs> we really have. Yeah. And that was a reminder. A couple of them were great in yeah. there. but Well, like YouTube quality shit. Like... Just make your videos. It's someone else's game. Yeah. We always thought, you know, if we take control, we'll make a great video. But yeah. whenever we did, terrible idea. It didn't work. And you've got the idea there, but then it just ends it's up. It's just blind arrogance. Like some... <laughs> Now, a little break from music as we honour the best in the up-and-coming medium of television. To present the award for the best TV show, who better than the host of Screenwipe? A man who is famous for slagging off shit TV. He's ruined more TV careers than Britannia High. It's Charlie Brooker. Uh, the nominees for Best TV Show are... People usually like my nicknames, don't they, Spunky? Spunky. Love it. But lucky for you, there's this. Goth juice. The most powerful hairspray known to man. Made from the tears of Robert Smith. They've just taken her down now. What? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. It means she's ready to have the baby. She's going down to have the baby. Well, tell her to wait. Are you finding this year's viewers any more racist than usual? <laughs> or are black people just not that good at dancing? Oh, God. <laughs> Boss, do you trust me? No. <laughs> do you trust me? No. <laughs> well, if you trust me, then offer to write that speech. I don't trust you. Charming. Clearly nothing I've done. Uh, past muster, you cunts. Uh, the winners are the Mighty Boosh. Bolo the Gorilla initially had to shake his eyebrows off for the costume. They then changed the costume so it wasn't necessary. Bolo was surprised by the decision, but there was no way of telling. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Julian can't be here today because he's dead, actually. No, he's not. He's, he's waiting for a fridge to be delivered, I think. <laughs> but um, this is amazing. I've always wanted to receive an award in Narnia, so... 
Uh, thanks to everyone involved and thanks for voting and uh, have a good night. Uh, as we've received an award in the forest, I think we should leave in the style of Mr. Tumnus. Thanks a lot. Mighty Boosh and Charlie Brooker, who presented the award. First up, are they better than The Wire? Because that's your fave. <laughs> well, you're comparing two completely different things. Very clearly, similar yes. Just great, it's very, it's, I mean, it's, 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 yeah, it's choosing between two extremely similar Complex, things. Complex, though, a lot of levels but, um, in The yes. Wire, yeah? I've got that to come. Coming up, Las Vegas team up with Florence for a unique performance. And that long-awaited return of Damon Albarn and Graham Coxon is just minutes away.